So today's interesting JavaScript output based question is in front of your screen. If you know the answer, write it comment. Otherwise, I'll explain. So see what we are doing here is I am first of all declaring a function that is solve. Okay. And here two edge cases I'm checking that if my rotation, like what here we are doing, we will pass an array which contains numbers, and then I will pass one more number that is number of rotation it wants to perform. Okay. So here what we are doing, we are first of all checking if our rotation is zero, means we don't have to rotate, we'll simply return our answer because rotation is zero. Otherwise, what we have to do, we are doing module of, of rotation, module of array. Because if your rotation is 50, but your array length is only four. Then you does not need to rotate it again and again and again because see you don't have that much elements. If I give you one example, you have one, two, three. If I rotate it three times, it will be again one, two, three itself. Now, do in your copy pen, you will understand better. Okay, so rotation modulate array of length so that it will be optimized. Number of rotation will be optimized. So here it is four and this is five. That means our rotation means five modulate four will be one. Okay, so here what we we'll do, we will go from i equals to zero, i less than one, and i plus plus. Then what we are doing, we are Popping the last element from there. The last element is 111 and we'll push it into the first because unshift method push the element to the first and then we are returning our answer. So let's check it. I'll console it so that it will show. Here you can see it is printed triple one, forty four, one and 22. So for this kind of interesting JavaScript video, subscribe our channel and like this one.